Welcome back. Look outside. The sun is shining. Blue skies. Absolutely beautiful out there, but don't be fooled. It is a cold afternoon, Cedric. We are having a couple days of really cold weather, kind of a shock to the system. And I tell you what, Delory, it is definitely a shock to the system. That's why it's a storm alert weather day. We've got temperatures that are some 20 to 25 degrees below where they should be for this time of the year. Keep this in mind. The normal high this time of the year is in the mid 70s, so high struggling to get into the low, maybe mid 50s for a few spots that's going to again be 20 degrees below average and you can see right now we're about 20 to 25 degrees colder than this time yesterday you can also see the bullseye of the cold air mass sitting directly over the Tennessee Valley right now so we're definitely experiencing that cold and this morning it was a cold start for sure keep in mind yesterday afternoon we had a high temperature right around 70 with all that sunshine but this morning we woke up to temperatures at the freezing mark from Dayton over towards Athens uh, 33 in Murphy 34 officially in Cleveland Dalton uh, 36 in Chattanooga, 36 in Scottsboro, and 30 degrees this morning in Altamont. Now, we do have a little bit of warming taking place right now with the temperatures, so that's the good news with all that sunshine. We've bumped all the way up to 49 degrees now in Chattanooga, but it's still 46 in Cleveland, 46 in Dalton and Scottsboro, 46 in Dayton and Athens and Cleveland, and 43 degrees currently in Murphy. Of course, I say warming up because we've got temperatures in the 40s. That's uh, way colder than what it was yesterday, so it's not really warm, but it's warmer than this morning. So as we go throughout the rest of the day, lots of sunshine. The breeze may pick up a little bit more this afternoon out of the northwest 10 to 20. So even though our temperatures may jump into the lower 50s, it's going to feel like it's in the 40s throughout the rest of this afternoon with that northerly breeze. And let me show you the forecast wind gust. And you can see as we get into this afternoon into the evening hours, winds could gust closer to 20 miles per hour before starting to calm down as we go throughout tonight. And that's going to be important as well because tonight we'll see clear skies moving in also across the region. So for today, we'll go with about 52 in Chattanooga, 53 in Dalton, about 51 in Cleveland. So yes, we may touch the low 50s, but again, outlying areas will likely stay in the 40s. It'll be sunny, but it will be uh, pretty chilly out there across the region. And with clear skies and the winds going calm tonight, I think that sets us up for perfect radiational cooling conditions. What does that mean? That means all the heat that builds up during the day in the city escapes in the atmosphere. So I think tomorrow morning will likely be colder than this morning. So you can see it was already cold this morning, even colder tomorrow morning, which means a widespread freeze is likely. And it also means the end of the growing season as we get towards uh, tomorrow morning as well. So uh, those temperatures, of course, pretty much damaging any crop that may be left outside or sensitive vegetation. So keep that in mind. Also, don't forget about our pets as well. If you didn't bring them in this morning, hopefully you did, then you'll definitely want to make sure you do that tonight into tomorrow morning because temperatures pretty much at or below freezing area wide. We'll go with even 32 here in the city, 31 in Dalton, 30 in Cleveland, 29 in Athens, Dayton, 27 in Altamont, 27 in Murphy, and about 29 degrees in Scottsboro. Tomorrow we'll have a little bit more sunshine, so we'll warm up a little bit more with highs in the mid to upper 50s for tomorrow, but still way below normal out there. But the one good thing is we will not have that big breeze, so at least it will feel a little better in the direct sunlight. So the cold Arctic air mass kind of surging in from the north. You can see this big, large rotation here of cold air. You can kind of follow the flow of that Arctic air right into the Tennessee Valley. But if you're not a fan of the cold weather, here's the good news. By the time we get towards the end of the week into the weekend, we get a big southwesterly flow that kicks in, and so that will usher in some much warmer air. Not only will it be warm by the weekend, we're talking temperatures a few degrees above average across the area. So it is a roller coaster ride fairly typical in the Tennessee Valley. If you don't like the weather, just wait a couple of days and hey, it'll change quite a bit. Here's a look at that storm alert seven day forecast. Sunny and cold today, 52 for a high. Another widespread freeze tonight. Then tomorrow, cool day with highs in the 50s. But notice, Lori, as we get towards the weekend, yeah, hey, just hang on. You can get rid of the flannels, get rid of the, the boots and the Uggs and all that stuff because hey, we're back in the 70s. It's a nice little tease though. Yeah. We will take that. And the